Welcome back everybody, today we're here to talk about The Walking Dead Season 10, Episode 14. This will be my review of the episode, um, obviously spoiler warning in case you haven't seen the episode, go check it out. For those who have seen it, let me know what you think about it in the comments down below. Before I do begin though, um, if you are a fan of The Walking Dead, be sure to subscribe as well. Later on, we're going to be posting our Episode 15 trailer, and then obviously, you know, videos throughout the days and weeks. So be sure to subscribe for more content. But with all that being said, let's get into the review. All right, so Episode 14, what did you guys think about it? I liked the episode, I did. I do wish a little bit more did happen. I felt like not too much happened in the episode. There was a lot of waiting around and talking, which I'm not saying is a bad thing. Um... Because, you know, this season has had a lot going on. And sometimes we need set up episodes. And this is exactly what this season or this episode was. This episode set up a lot of stuff in the future. Um, one thing I did really like was them going to look for Princess, which they did. Now, we're going we're gonna to talk more about that later on. But I always like starting off the reviews with the beginning of the episode. So, again, the beginning of this episode was like the aftermath of episode 12. Um... You know, Carol needed her uh, time to be alone, and she, it looks like she is going to keep the promise with Negan. I know a lot of people were th talking about, like, what is she going to do with that? But everything looks okay with that. She just sort of needed her own time. But we saw what happened with Negan anyway. So Negan and Daryl are, you know, pretty good now, which I never thought I would see the day where, you know, Negan and Daryl share a drink. <laughs> so that was really cool to see. And and seeing Negan be more serious this episode was also really interesting. Like, when Negan was up against the wall, he was slowly, like, he was saying, I'm going to slowly reach my pocket. And Negan was just sounding very vulnerable, which is um, something we just haven't seen that much. But as soon as, um, one thing I loved was when the whispers kneeled, um, and then he just completely changed. He was like, all right, I'm going to go back to the way I was. But then he shot that whisper, and oh my goodness. I even paused the episode, and I wrote it down because I knew I wanted to talk about that in the review but yeah that was a hard hit like i just love that so much you i mean we pretty much just saw his face blow up like that was insane um so i know with the walking dead times they tone they have toned down the violence in the past because of um negan himself uh so that's kind of funny and ironic but yeah that was pretty brutal something else i really liked in this episode was the dialogue um I think this episode made me realize that they have improved the dialogue. And I think The Walking Dead had struggled with dialogue in the past before because some of the dialogue was unrealistic. But, for example, like when Eugene was telling everybody about the communities, I thought the reactions were really natural. And I, and I actually really liked that. I took note of it because, like, everyone was asking questions and Magnet was like, what if it's a spy? What if they're a spy? Like, can we trust them? And, like, everyone's reaction just felt very real. Like, it was a group of friends talking. So... I took note of that because um, I think the dialogue has been improving and I know um, uh, sometimes it's very theatrical on The Walking Dead, the dialogue, and just unrealistic, which I know some characters are, are like that, which is fine, but um, when everybody was talking, you know, it, the whole group was there, it just felt like a group of, you know, people, just friends, you know, bouncing off one another, giving their input, so I like that. Something else I loved about the episode was the beta theme, and this is just like in general, but in this episode it was highlighted again. I think that beta theme is super haunting and awesome. Like whenever, like when beta was walking up to um, the border, we saw Alpha's head. Like that theme is just so amazing. Um, but the whole scene with beta fighting Alpha was creepy as hell because like Alpha was turning into a walker and beta was getting angry at that whisper and was like saying she can hear you and then it cut to alpha as a walker like that that was super creepy i loved it though um and then we saw what beta did to that uh, whisper and then he went um and yeah i mean th also the fact that it was in the middle of the field during the day makes it made it so much more scarier for some reason i don't know that that whole scene was super creepy and scary um but Beta was really interesting this episode because he went to that little shack or whatever and it pretty much confirmed that Beta was that guitar player that we saw in Fear the Walking Dead, like that poster. Um, or it was like an album cover or something. Like we saw that on Fear the Walking Dead and it pretty much confirmed that that was him, which is awesome to think about now. So, And then he also put on his own music and we heard Beta sing and yeah, I love that, you know, I mean, we just learned so much about him just from that little scene, and it, it confirmed that theory from Fear the Walking Dead, so that was great, but 
yeah, Beta is clearly out for revenge, and I think that's what these last two episodes are going to be setting up. Beta's going to, I mean, we saw the end of the episode, him with that gigantic horde of walkers, so he's going to obviously take that to Alexandria since it's the last community standing. Also, that's kind of crazy to think about that, that there's only one, like, the Whispers took down two communities, like, not even the Saviors didn't even do that. There's only one community left. That's really, that's kind of crazy to think i even i didn't even think about that until i just talked about it here but yeah that's interesting to think about that the whispers pretty much took down two of their communities and now alexandria is the last one standing the carol and alpha stuff um i also did like that i liked that they had that i i liked that they find they had like a post like i know alpha's dead or anything but i like that carol was really involved in it like, I liked Alpha acknowledged it. Obviously, I know it was, it was a figment of her imagination, but I still did like that scene. Um, and it was nice seeing Alpha one last time. But, um, yeah, I mean, Alpha was a great villain, I think. Uh, Samantha Morton was a, doing an amazing job as Alpha. Um, one of the best villains easily. So, you know, that, that probably would be the last time you've seen her on the show. But I just have to give it up and say that, you know, she was amazing and i'm gonna miss alpha as much i know alpha was a villain but i'm gonna miss her and i'm interested to see what direction carol's arc is gonna go in next because um i do feel like some of the people are still sort of upset with her i mean i don't know like i know we were talking about this prior to the episode like is she gonna take um credit for killing alpha which technically she did because she let negan out who did it like even alpha addressed that but I don't think she's gonna do it. I think she's. Just, I think things are gonna slowly go back to normal. Um, and I mean, I mean, Negan already told uh, Negan already told Daryl that he killed Alpha. Which again, I was talking about that earlier. But it was nice seeing those two finally cool down a little bit. Um, and they were, you know, Negan wasn't tied up or anything like that. Daryl wasn't pointing a weapon at him. They were just talking and just being regular you know, colleagues or whatever. So I like that. So, I mean, that's also another thing we always talk about. Like, will Daryl ever, uh, you know, forgive Negan? And I don't think he's ever going to forgive Negan, but he's slowly just going to go come over it and just sort of forget about it. So, I mean, not forget about it, what he did. There's no way he will ever forget what he did, but just sort of like, you know, just work with him, you know, just deal with him because you don't have to like everybody you know, I'm sure everybody in those communities don't like one another, so he's probably not going to be best friends with Negan, but he's just sort of going to live with it because there's nothing much, you know, he can do. And Negan did do a good thing. He killed Alpha, so I don't think they're going to put him down or, like, kill him or, you know, what they were discussing earlier. Like, we saw the opening minutes when they were talking about it in the cell, Carol and Negan. It looked like they were discussing that for a while, but I don't think that's going to happen. Um... But the last thing I want to talk about was Ezekiel, Eugene, and Yumiko. So I, I did like that little journey they had also because those are three characters we haven't seen together that much. But I thought they had a lot of good chemistry and they I think, you know, the, we saw like a good, um, you know, friendship between them, which I'm sure they have. But we just haven't seen that on screen because those characters haven't been together on screen that much. Um, I like the journey into town. Ezekiel killing the horse. I, I literally paused the episode and I wrote this down because all I got to say is finally a horse doesn't get eaten because I feel like every horse in The Walking Dead gets eaten. I mean, I'm going to be honest, that was really sad, him putting down the horse, but I got to say it's better than a bunch of zombies eating it like every other horse in The Walking Dead. Um, and then we the end, we saw Princess at the end. So the episode definitely sets up the future of The Walking Dead and we only have two more episodes left this season, and we saw Princess. I gotta say, they nailed the Princess look. Like, it's great. Um, they absolutely nailed it. So, I mean, we only saw that, um, that little one line she had, but we have to wait to see what happens next. But I gotta say, they nailed it. I, I mean, it's great. So, we're almost there, guys. We're almost at the comment. Well, I mean, we're pretty much basically there. Like, we're probably going to see them at the end of this season. So, let me know what you think about all this in the comments down below. As far as the video goes, I'm going to wrap it up there. Again, I liked the episode. I set up a lot of stuff. Let me know what you think about it in the, in the comments down below. What did you like about it? What didn't you like about it? Let me know. Um, again, my episode 15 trailer breakdown will be coming out soon, so stay tuned for that, as well as other videos throughout the week for The Walking Dead episode, uh, Season 10, Episode 15. So stay tuned by hitting the subscribe button. As always, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys later.